you ever notice that advertising, it's everywhere? We should really understand that, shouldn't we? come as much of a surprise to us that people are trying to sell products. But it's something that people don't think enough about. I mean, in the field you're in, you're probably going to be involved in the creation of some products. Would it help to know how they're trying to sell your stuff? One thing that you'd think you'd see a lot more of in advertisements is the company arguing that their product was better than everyone else's. However, you know, you really don't see it all that much. When, when you do, like this paper towel ad, it just strikes you as kind of boring. It's not the kind of thing that sticks into your mind. Instead, advertisements tend to work a different way. Advertisers tend to relate the product to something that looks very attractive to their particular audience. What this means is that the ads are hardly ever about the product. They're about some relatable image. A good example of this is Tag Body Spray. I guess it's an Axe Body Spray knockoff or something. And obviously the message here is that instead of not stinking, if you use this, women will mob you. It strikes me as a little bit scary, though, because while it looks like some women in this ad do just want to get close to him, there's the blonde who looks like she's about to knee him in the head and the woman who's running up about ready to attack him woman in the back is showing all the teeth looks like she's in pain as well is it the image they thought yeah you get yeah well i mean you got to give them this it's hard to really sell a scent without providing that scent so you got to do what you got to do however it's not just scents that do this Jeeps and pickup trucks in general tend to sell a specific image. That of their vehicle will unlock access to the great outdoors, roughing it, wildlife, exotic places. It will bring you closer to nature. So you can run over it, I guess. It's a... Um, Big selling point whenever you talk about four-wheel drive vehicles, which is strange because most people who have four-wheel drive vehicles have never taken it off a road to begin with. Sometimes if you want really weird examples of advertisers trying to relate the product to some bigger ideal, you can find some very blatant ones in the past. We have the youngest customers in the business. Now... This is an older ad. I'm really kind of doubtful that anyone at the time even thought that giving 7-Up to little kids would be a good idea. But that's not really what they're doing here. They're not trying to tell you you should buy a lot of 7-Up to give to your infants. What they're saying is it's so good that children just come out knowing they need it. Yeah, I know. But it was an approach they used for quite a long time. If you go to times where interesting things are going on in the world, you get interesting ads. In the Great Depression, for instance, you started to see a lot of ads that were like this. National Oats makes kids husky. Why would looking husky be something that parents were striving for in their children? Well, this was the Great Depression. And the absolute worst thing that could happen is you wouldn't be able to provide for your family. But right up there was everyone thinking that you wouldn't be able to provide for your family. You want someone skinny in your family? Because then everyone's going to look at it and go, Ha! Ah, you can't feed your kids. And if you have national oats, it'll bulk them up, and nobody will worry about you not having enough money to support your children. Crass? Yeah. Weird? Yeah. But the past doesn't have an exclusive grasp on weird. This is an ad for Dolce & Gabbana. Take a minute to look at it. And then, try to figure out what they're actually selling. 
I've used this for a while and I've done some research on it and I think it's either men's clothing or a cologne line, but it's hard to tell. So instead, we kind of have to look at what's going on. We have a bunch of men who have very gelled out here in suits, all standing over a female in lingerie that looks like it just might be a mannequin. I don't know how this is supposed to be selling their product, but I know the image that's coming pretty clear out of this. This will have the women falling at your feet. It will make you look powerful. Is any of this a stretch from looking at this ad? Mm. Harley Davidson. Let's talk about Harley Davidson because their ads can be interesting. Harley Davidson has a real problem in that Harley-Davidson has always tried to be an outlaw-oriented company. It's the dangerous choice. However, the average Harley-Davidson customer is in their 50s or 60s and is a lawyer. They're not bringing in a lot of young people to their brand. And their ads, as a result, tend to try to get to that dangerous image. Stop dreaming. What are you dreaming about? You're dreaming of being able to ride a motorcycle. So the Harley Davidson will make you forget that you have a boring life just pushing your kid around. I know, but this one is much better than this one. They're really trying to push the outlaw thing, and to the point of getting really creepy. Unnecessary gender is another way that things get sold. Though this is obviously a frightening version of masculinity. But look at this one. If you drink this uh, protein shake, you will get to be the kind of person, or at least people will see you as the kind of person who will climb cliffs with no safety gear at all and no shirt. And when I'm hanging from one hand from a giant rock close to death, I can just chug my maxi milk and everything will be okay because I'm a real man. Yeah, I know. Cigarette ads from the past are good examples of them trying to relate their product to something else. And you can go back and look at a lot of the past cigarette ads and you will see ones where they are trying to sell it for being better tasting or even healthier. Yes, doctors used to endorse cigarettes. But I like this one. It's a different way they market towards males versus females. Before you scold me, Mom, maybe you'd better light up a Marlboro. Yes, you need never feel over-smoked. That's the miracle of Marlboro. Don't panic. Just get a cigarette, Mom, and it'll help you deal with your rough day. Whereas towards men, it's a luxury good. Gee, Dad, you always get the best of everything, even Marlboro. Marlboro is an interesting case because it was originally marketed as primarily a woman's cigarette, and not too long after this ad campaign is when they started to try to push it into cowboy territory to make it a more masculine smoke. Seems weird, but we haven't got to the root of weird yet. Because this is an ad for an anti-anxiety medication. You can't set her free, but you can help her feel less anxious. Yeah, your life is going to suck, ma'am, but at least we can give you the drugs to get you over it. I guess you really don't want to get into our anti-anxiety will make you less anxious than other drugs, but this is, in historical hindsight, kind of creepy. I would like to think that I would think it was fairly creepy back in the day, but if you really want to see creepy, let's talk about Burger King. I'm a vegetarian. But even from the days where I used to eat meat, I don't think this looks particularly attractive. So they try to market it towards outrageous sensual experiences. To the point where the realm of decency and good taste is just walked all over. I did actually read an interview with the model in this, and she said she had no idea what they were going to use her picture for, but she didn't think it was this, and she was kind of ashamed of it. I guess you have to go to such extremes if you're not confident in your food. I don't know. This is how ads work. Ads tend to want to relate their product to something else. And it's how much sense that relationship makes, which is one way we can judge it. What weird things about society it shows. 
hopefully you're able to figure out ways to make your product look attractive without resorting to such things as references to oral sex, but there you go. And granted, this is usually the domain of advertisers, but as someone working in a technical-oriented field, you're really going to want to make sure that you have given some thought as to how your product will be marketed. If your reputation is wrapped up in your product, how that product gets marketed will have an effect on you. Now, this is going to make some of the ads you see feel a little bit creepy, and that's because they are a little bit creepy. I think there is such a good thing as ethical advertisement, but I don't think anyone goes into the game trying to mess you up. It's important, though, to be able to see what's going on so you can make your own judgments on that one. See you in the next video.